Hello, sisters. Um, I've been asked by the Relief Society to um, do a quick little video here, just showing you how we're putting together these masks for COVID-19. Um, so I'll start at the basic here where um, we are uh, cutting out, right? So to cut out your pieces, you need two of the main fabric and two of your lining fabric. I've chosen to make my mask the same fabric. So the main fabric is the front of the mask and the lining is the back of the mask. Um, so, you know, you could, you could choose to put this on a different um, type of material, but I'm just, I'm just keeping it the same. So um, the only thing about cutting it out is you just need to, you know, I mean, the easiest way to do it would to make sure you're doing two at a time. So, um, you know, have your fabric folded so that your raw edges are, um, you know, folded in half here. So you've got two layers and um, the right sides up on both sides. So you've got wrong sides facing in the middle there. Okay, when you're done cutting, you should have four pieces that look like this, you know, two that, that are, um, the main fabric and two that are the lining. I've also chosen to cut out interfacing to make these like to make this mask extra um, effective. Like it's not just a mask cover; it's supposed to also be blocking out, you know, like an N5, uh, N95 mask. I think that's what they call it. So um, I cut out interface and I sewed them on the wrong sides of the fabric. Um, so this is the right side, obviously. Each one has interface on the back. Some of you may be using um, like no interface at all, which is perfectly fine. Um, and some of you may be using interface that uh, requires an iron. So um, you would then, of course, just iron it onto the backs of your pieces. Um, I think that you use um, parchment paper or a fab uh, like a thin um, cloth over it when you iron that. Um, so yeah, basically this is, this is what you need and make sure that your pieces have been ironed flat, um, for this next step because we're getting ready to sew them together and trust me, your project will come out easier and nicer looking with less, you know, mistakes on it and stuff if your pieces are nice and flat. Okay, so we have our four pieces of fabric ready to go on the sewing machine. Um, obviously you're going to want to keep the ones that match together because they, they're friends, right? This is the lining and these are the, this is the main fabric because you can tell because it's got an, an extra bit here on the end that this one doesn't have, like these are just shorter, okay? So I'm taking my two, it doesn't matter which order you do this in. You could do the lining first, you could do the main first, it, it's gonna turn out fine either way. So. Put your right sides together and pin that or clip that in place however you're comfortable sewing, okay? The only seam you have to worry about sewing is this one. So we're just gonna sew it down. Make sure you backstitch. Backstitch here, sew, backstitch, okay? We'll be left with, you know, the shape of the mask. Okay. Okay, so I've added a, a um, my seam here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sewn that, and now you can see this is the top of the mask, and it's the outside main fabric. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with these lining pieces. So I'm gonna put right sides together, and then I'm gonna place it in my machine here and I'm gonna sew it along that edge okay so here's my lining piece that I've I've add, added that you know um, seam to and it unfolds the same way you know as the uh, main piece here so you should have two pieces that look almost identical it's just that the main piece is a little bit longer than the lining piece Okay, so we have our, our two uh, pieces, and we're going to um, put what's called a top stitch in, 
So <clears throat> there's a seam back here that's gonna get all bulky and difficult to work with if you don't sew it flat. So we're just gonna put, I just go to the left and I, <clears throat> I think it's the left, is that funny? When you have to think about it too hard. I just go to the left like this, okay? And then I'm going to put it in my, go ahead, and, yeah, like Audrey, follow the, the fabric. Okay. I'm going to put it in my machine. Get in close, honey. Okay. Um, as you go through and the feed dogs are taking, taking your fabric through, you're going to notice that this is going to start to like rumple up. So just take it slow and keep smoothing it out as you sew that down. And really, honestly, if it rumples, I mean, I haven't had it rumple, but I assume if it did rumple and you like sewed the pleat in, it wouldn't be a big deal. So you don't need to stress about that too much. But so you're gonna you're gonna top stitch both pieces. Both of these have um, that seam in the back that needs to be top stitched flat. Okay, as you can see, it's flat, and that's your main goal. It really doesn't matter if it looks ugly getting through there. See how it. <laughs> I think I may have cursed it when I said I hadn't had it pleat yet because it did. Um, but it's totally fine. Like it doesn't mess up your outside, you know, so um, you don't need it. It doesn't need to be perfect or, or beautiful. Um, so go ahead and the next step here is we're going to be combining these together. They're ready to be friends. Okay, so um, you want to look at your seam here. This is the top of the mask. And you want to look at your seam here. This is also the top of the mask. You're putting right sides together, okay? And you're going to pin this so that it's they're they're nicely lined up. You know, go ahead and put a pin here at the edge here. And yeah, when yeah, just pin it in place securely because your your next step is going to be to place a seam here. So you're sewing it along here and you're sewing it along the top there okay so I have placed my seam here and here and I'm gonna unpin it and the last step before you're gonna turn this puppy out inside out is um, you want to clean up this area into like a less bulky shape, you know, um, just so that it's easier to put the top seam. We're gonna turn this inside out and we're gonna place a top seam over this. So you don't want your needle to get stuck in there if it's too bulky, so just trim that out. Okay, so that's been trimmed and now I'm gonna turn this inside out. By just, you know, I'm sure you know how to do it. <laughs> you probably don't need to see the whole thing go inside out, but. Here we go. Now what we're left with is, you're basically done. You're just gonna be ironing this flat and then placing your top seams um, in the same area. You know, you're putting a top seam on this and you're putting a top seam here. Um, and then I'll show you how to attach um, your straps. Okay, so I've ironed it flat and I've made sure that, you know, all of it is um, turned inside out. Sometimes this part likes to get like kind of bunched up in here when you turn it inside out. So, you know, just poke that out so you've got a nice um, shape. And now I'm just gonna add my top seam. Uh, I'm gonna run my seam this way. Okay, it's gonna go through. It might get a little harder through here, so just go slower, okay? And then you'll be able to get it. Ooh, it even wants to get stuck without me sewing it. That's funny. But yeah, just be really patient through there. You know, if you get stuck, um, you could even just raise your, well, I don't know if your machine has the same thing, but um, I just raise the needle and then, then I'll reposition and then just continue on so it doesn't get stuck and you know, you don't want to have to like redo your um, bobbin and jam your machine. So just be aware of that. Um, and then we're doing the same thing along 
the bottom, which shouldn't really get stuck. That one's easier to do. Okay, so we're at the point now where we're gonna go ahead and uh, attach our straps, elastic, ribbon, whatever we're doing to make it so that you can put it on. Um, on This was my first like practice one. Um, and I'm, I used, um, cause I had this on hand, I had a, like a disposable one. Um, so I just cut off the elastic that was already on it and I put it, um, in this. So, I mean, odds are you're probably not going to have that, but that's why this one looks different. Um, this one I was given ribbon to put on there. This is gras grain ribbon and it's been cut to nine inches. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to do the ribbon. It's just, I'm out of the black ribbon. Now I'm moving on to the red, which actually might be nicer for you guys to be able to see it against the black fabric. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So the ends look like this. Okay. We're going to turn this piece in a quarter of an inch and we're going to iron it. It just makes it easier if you iron that. And this is good enough. It just like created a nice little hinge for you. Okay. Gonna do it on the other side. And now we're ready to attach our, um, our ribbons. They're gonna go this direction. Okay. So, cause like if they went off like that, that would be harder to put on. So you want them to go this direction. I'm just lining them up so that they're evenly spaced and kind of they look centered. Do you have that out of the frame, sweetie? There we go. Maybe go in a little closer. There we go. Okay, so that part's like this. Um, I usually tack it. Like I just use my machine, but you could. You really don't have to tack it. I'm just. I don't know. I just like to. So, this is gonna be in like this, and then we're gonna fold it over. And we're gonna place a seam here. I recommend coming in and then back stitching over it, right? And then going and then back stitch some more so that it's really nice and secure. If you wanted, you could even put like another seam here, you know, cause we want these to be durable and not um, come out in the wash. Okay, so to summarize, we had four pieces of ribbon that were nine inches in length. We put them, you know, here, here going this direction on both sides of the mask. We reinforce the stitches here so that they're not going to, you know, they can handle the tension of being put on and they can do well in the washing machine. So there are other um, methods of attaching, like I mentioned previously, there's elastic. This would, um, well, and I'm trying to think, I think some people are doing hair ties. I'm not sure if that's yes or no on whether or not those are working. Um, but basically, if you're not gonna like use this method of like just sewing and reinforcing, you can create a like a, a channel um, or a casing, I think is the actual word, um, where you would just, you would just create, you know, a seam here and then feed um, whatever material you're using to attach um, through that. So like with elastic, you would feed, probably you would attach it to a piece of, um, you would attach the elastic to a safety pin and feed that through and then tie a really good knot and then just kind of rotate the knot so that it's inside here and then you'll have an elastic loop. And that's, that's pretty much it. You have finished your mask and now you can go on and make as many as you can to help others. Thank you for your service, ladies. We, I'm sure that the medical community and Heavenly Father really appreciate your, your um, loving hearts and your willingness to serve.